You lift your weary shield arm, gritting your teeth with pain care of your broken ribs, as you slide down the stone slope into the large underground cavern. Glowing a fiery orange care of the bubbling magma pool in the center of the room. Fifty feet ahead of you, sitting atop a pile of coins and gems as large as the massive beast itself, sits a magma dragon. The creature crawls towards you, stretching out enormous wings, the webbing of which is yellow hot. Its white eyes burn fiery heat from the planet's core, distorting the air of the cavern around you. Its black, red lips crack, revealing a chaotic conflagration of fiery death just waiting to be breathed out. It speaks. What are you doing in my lair? Aw, oh, how anticlimactic was that? Let me teach you five easy tips to speak draconic. I'm GMA Tank. Let's get painting. Welcome to Paint to Life, the YouTube channel where I paint Dungeons and Dragons minis, tell you a story about them, give you some lore or some other interesting tidbit. Such as tonight, I'm going to teach you how to speak draconic in just five easy steps. Also, stick around to the end of the video for a bonus sixth tip. And of course, like, subscribe, etc, etc to help the channel grow. Okay, step number one, translate your script, but keep it simple. The first known draconic translator on the net was over at draconic twilightrealm.com. Now I've featured this site on Paint to Life before. It's meant to be a universal tongue of dragons, not a specific uh, language such as a red or brass dragon's tongue. And now it has an expansive vocabulary uh, from a lot of different sources, including dragon magazines, Dungeons and Dragons, and the various contributors. It's still a work in progress. So in this example, entire, smite, the, and oblivion are not found. So try again, a little more condensed, and we get full translation. Tip number two, pronunciation. Make the draconic your own, but remember, keep it consistent. Read through the output of the translator and identify pronunciations you think sound right and can consistently rely upon yourself to say. For example, some of the combinations include the use in this word work. Uh, I would say taurua and S's, like a snake, I kind of blend them together. For example, the word leave, I would say jessive. And the R's, I like to roll my R's, like in French. So the word only here, I would say a grief. Now, this won't be the end of days if you don't do anything like this, but it'll really help you with the next point. Point number three, be committed, keep it confident. This draconic isn't a real language, like Klingon, for example. So it's very unlikely anyone will know what the hell you're saying anyways. Certainly when you say something with confidence and poise, who will know otherwise? Especially not your players or your dungeon master if you're turning around on them. Let's take, for example, a sentence like, I am red scales in death, meet your fate. Example number one. See me charier. And example number two. Same enunciation, one is read more confidently and sounds way cooler. Tip number four. Write out your sentences phonetically in advance. For those of you who don't know, phonetically is the way of writing something out in such a way that even a five-year-old could read it. Basically, take a phrase like Dungeons and Dragons and write it out like this. Dungeons and Dragons. Now let's take a look at that last example from step three. Now, if we write that out phonetically while remembering my pronunciation rules from step two, I would write this out like this. So now, even if you do this and forget about it, looking at it in the future, you'll have very little problem remembering. Let's try. Hey, Jen! What? Hey. Why are you banging? Uh, can you read this? No. Just read it. Please. C. 
Si me charir ter naki vur mar fede lom taf if doubt hor rack. Awesome. Well done. Thank you. Is that <laughs> Thanks. It? That's it. Okay. She's a dragon. Additionally, when I write things out phonetically, I leave the English translation above each word so that I can properly inflect and enunciate the words as I read it back. And finally, keep a copy of the draconic source. So if you're going to change the words into a draconic script or a letter or a handout for your players, for printing purposes, changing the font looks hella awesome. Cool, you're still here. Before we get to the final point, Special shout out to my friendly local gaming store, Phoenix Rising, for graciously donating this box set, Epic Encounters, for the purpose of tonight's episode. I'll be doing a how to paint episode of this with my commentaries of both the pros and the cons of the kit, which is going to be released next Tuesday for those of you who are interested. And also, special thanks to Brandt over at Goobertown Hobbies for providing me the spark to run this episode, naming this Magma Dragon as well. Now, the fifth tip on speaking draconic is using software to modulate your voice. Depending on what you're gonna do with this draconic, maybe you wanna record yourself and play it back during your session from a hidden Bluetooth speaker. If you're gonna do that, there are all kinds of software that can achieve this, but for one that's free, like a shareware, I recommend the software called Goldwave. I can give you an example of outputs like this. And remember, if you are going to record yourself, there's all kinds of tricks that you can use to change your voice and the sound. Not just pitch changes if you record your draconic like this, or like if you're going to roll real low, or even if you play with your mouth when you record it. Once you put it into a modulator, you can get all kinds of really cool dragon sounds representing different species or genders or whatever. Now there were the five points I promised you. Let's take a look at the finished magma dragon I painted, Dragmar the Molten. You lift your weary shield arm, gritting your teeth past the pain of broken ribs, and descend down the slope's stone floor into the large underground cavern, glowing a fiery orange, care of the bubbling magma pools nearby. Fifty feet ahead of you, perched atop a pile of coins and gems. As large as the beast itself is a massive magma dragon. The creature crawls on its front arms towards you, stretches out its enormous wings, the webbing of which is yellow hot. Its fiery eyes burn white with the heat of the planet's core, distorting the light of the dimly lit cavern while its red-black beak cracks open, revealing a chaotic conflagration of fiery death just waiting to be breathed out. It speaks. Alright, I hope you enjoyed that episode and those tips. Here is the finished Dragmar for the shelf. Help support your friendly local gaming store by heading down and picking up some Dungeons and Dragons miniatures to paint for yourself. All right, finally, as promised, here's the top secret sixth tip that I promised. I've compiled a list of commonly used English words that I'm going to put up here with their translations and my interpretations of their draconic dictation. Perhaps you might just listen to this part, come up with your own translation using just these snippets. V, Vin, were Terre Shukiv Aoric Edel Kair Yuwa Sthir Tresky Tobor Chasid Lu Vrak Sariv Asthir Goara Taura Zinor Kerr Montu Taranen, Viprelkir, Svi, Yat. K, Tapoa, Tir, Yanta, Iturwak, Shurak, Chisris, Vukult, Klax, Okir, Kanf, Sufme, 
Vog, Tur, Majak, Clay, Eta, Vsip, Tor, Taura, Kewig, Shaul, Jasiv, Relg. Benzvelk, Zer, Iral, Aneo, Drong, Genu, Moxt, Kurja, Lyric, Wantheth, Hakt, Tualish, Yoe, Sart, Wansi, Fravor, Glire, Jerjo, Jathila, Klauth, Chitarnok, Tisvelk, Diesen, Yisik. Sven, Zayek, Ekek, Filke, Jaka, Svenoa, Hak, Throdenelt, Visist, Tenpizwo, Algobo, Irgrif, Z, Tenjis, Svikal, Mobi, Vira, Persvik, Lei, Kiri, Svadrav, Nerti, Naf, Chodanati. So there you go. I hope those help you. Good luck in your draconic adventures, and I will see you next time on Paint to Life. I'm GMA Tank. Wash your hands, people.